Hello everyone, I'm Daniela, and welcome back to a brand new episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. Today is going to be a quick, exciting, and maybe a little bit of a sad episode. The quickness is because my only plan today is to add in our doll sheep. And it's super exciting because the doll sheep are the last animals that we need to complete our True North Trail. And of course that's where the sad part comes in because we're going to be moving on from the True North Trail. We're going to be looking to expand our zoo and bring in new animals and just keep growing. So while uh, everybody was away, I grabbed us a couple of doll sheep. We have Wakefield, Verley, and Maslin. These are going to be our three that we have for now, because if we check the Zoopedia, their natural habitat is in North America, Alaska, and Canada. They need a decent amount of space, no water, no climbing, and they need negative 12 to 16 degrees with a grade 2 fence. If we check on their species data, they only need about 3 to 40. Oh wow, I I actually did not realize that they could have up to 39 females. Oh wow. And they live to be eight, about 18 and they can have babies until they die. Should we try? I mean, I don't necessarily think that this will be big enough. I think it would be fine for the three that we have, but... It might be kind of cool to have a super big doll sheep habitat, but then again, we we do have the big polar bears, and that's our main attraction. They're the most appealing, and when we think about it, the more animals that we have means the more, I don't want to say problems, but more areas for us to work on. I think, I think we'll stick with just the three and we'll go from there. So let's grab our barrier and they only need a grade two, but let's go with the wood because I actually enjoy the wood logs. So we'll grab it here and we'll just make our, our barrier for our doll sheep. Grab this one, over, there we go. I've actually been really happy with how the True North Trail has come along. I I honestly did not think that we would be able to get polar bears in as fast as we did. I think that was really good of us that we were able to save our conservation credits, find the right polar bears, continue making our guests happy, making money. Because if we remember those first couple of episodes that we were working on, we we were struggling with the finances. We were struggling with money. It was just nothing was coming together. We kept losing money. We almost had to take out a loan, which is something that I really did not want to do. And thankfully, we didn't have to do it. But it just shows that Time is the biggest helper. When we waited it out, we tried our best, added a few added a few things that we needed, like like the drink shops and the cheap beef and the info center. It was just those little things that helped make the Dakota Zoo as great it is it as it is right now. All right, our berry is complete. Let's grab a... Oh, I can't reconnect it. Okay, it was right there. All right, perfect. We have our doll sheep habitat. Before I forget, let's go into zoo and work zones. Oh, we have snowfall. Okay, let's put them, they are kind of close, so let's just make it the True North Trail. Let's add them into here. 
pad here, and there we go. They're all set. Everything's good. Now while it snows, let's uh, let's go and grab these buddies into quarantine. Animal storage, weight field. We're gonna move, and I am just seeing on those little on our notifications that we are having some damaged barriers. So as soon as we get our doll sheep into the quarantine, I will take care of that. You know, my plan always is to have, I don't want it to be super long, but I think when it starts dragging out is because of all of our management of the zoo. Because when I start to do something and then I get distracted by, as we can see, cleanliness. So let's call the keeper. And then Arctic Chill, so we have to call the mechanic. Now we have a water treatment, so we have to call the mechanic again. And it's just, it's a never-ending cycle, but I love it. Okay, well, let's maybe, while we wait, I think I said hi to everybody. We have one more. Let's see. Hello to you, Inez. Get some more conservation credits. And we've got everything there, so I think we're, we're doing well. Let's take a look at our guests, check out their happiness. They could be, they would like some thirst, they need more drink shops. So maybe we could add a drink shop over here, because we could add, with the doll sheep, they're bringing in more people, and especially the polar bears, they cover a wide space. So I don't know where we should put it. Just another drink shop. Because we have the Vancouver Cafe over here, and then we have the smaller individual shops over here. So maybe we could put one here. I am thinking that we probably need something over here, but I imagine that I don't really know where we're gonna expand next. Because Obviously, this is the Great North Trail, all in here. So, and I was wanting to maybe do Australia, just because of the Australia pack that's coming out. So I don't know if we should have it all the way on the other side, because it would be kind of cool, be, since when you think about it, with North America and then Australia is really on the other side of the world, so it could be kind of fun to expand over here and make it kind of like, like the globe. Okay, we have quarantine, wait field. Let's wait for the other ones. Let's make sure that we have power. I think we do, yes, because I added a power transformer right in there. Excellent. They'll be all good to go. I do believe that we had a couple of animals. Let's check on I feel so sad. I think Manny's gonna gonna go soon. Our scorpions are good. They're both pregnant, same as the iguanas. Our bears are all right. We have all of our pronghorns. I'm actually just gonna take a pause because I don't want anything crazy happening for us. Okay, Wynette, she's a little bit old, same as Olivia. Watkins is a young adult. He's in the Trade Center. Old, old. Habitat. Just making sure that we have the infants. Okay, this is Nikedra. So she is a daughter. So we need to make sure that she goes to the Trade Center. Or we could at least put her on contraceptives. That actually might be smart. Put her on contraceptives. Then we have Swindle and Everney. And Everney's pregnant. Actually, I think let's bring Nikedra and let's release her to the wild. Get a few conservation credits. There we go. And we just completed the challenge. So let's claim those rewards. Get a little bit extra cash. And I know, let me just check on our snakes. And they had another baby. So we will grab... You will send him to the trade center. 
There you go. Exhibit trading. And we can sell them for some cash. Okay. Now I think all of our sheep are ready. Let's grab all of them. And we are going to move them to their new home. All right. The start. The start of the end of the True North Trail is beginning. High amounts of litter. Where are the high amounts of litter? There's always so much here, and I don't understand why. Do our caretakers just never come over here? Like, where are they? Communing, communing, communing. I think it just accumulates so much, and our caretakers, it is a long way, especially because they have to deal with the whole Great North Trail. True North Trail, my apologies. I think it just takes a while for them to go over there and clean it. So we'll just we'll just wait on our our doll sheep. We do have a sick antelope, so let's do that and we'll call the keeper and call the mechanic. And we have more diseased animals. Go, moving you. Do we have more? Yeah, they're all sick. I think we might need to invest in getting a few more keepers and a few more caretakers because we have been dealing with a lot of sick animals and I personally just do not like that at all. I I don't like the amount of diseased animals we've been having. I don't think it's good for our zoo, and I also don't think it's good for the animals either. So I'll we'll take a pause while we still have a little bit of light out, and we are going to make sure that they're happy. So they definitely have a lot of space, which is good. We could eventually maybe add another fem a couple more females because we do have a lot of space. Their environment's good. They just need the basic enrichment and their food. So let's head into let's head into terrain because they are sheep, and I feel like when I think of sheep, they climb on things. So I want us to make sure that we have a super cool sheep area, like a big rock for them. Okay, now we can paint, and we'll put rock. There we go. There's one. Maybe we can do a big one. Another small one over here. can climb up to onto it. There we go. And then rock. I can never really decide what type of rock I like. The rough rock or the smooth rock. They're both they're both nice, they're both different. I just I don't really have a preference with them. I like using both. Alright, we have our big one here. We'll just flatten that out a bit. There we go. Now we just have to make sure that they can climb up. Paint. Grab our rock. I think the doll sheep are a little bit picky about temperature, so we might have to add in a couple of coolers as well. We might want to add some snow, which, which could be pretty nice. Let's go here, habitat. Okay, so they, well, let's just press play because, let's see. Are they good? Fantastic. They love it. They can go all over, which is exactly what we want. Now we can just head into habitat, species, grab our doll sheep, and we can from there. Grab our food. 
we'll keep it close by for the keeper so they don't have to go too far. We also need water now because we don't have any type of water source. So maybe we could add it up here. That would kind of, that would be kind of nice. There we go. We'll have to check just to make sure that they can continue to go up. And we're going to need coolers. Let's, so we'll add one right here. We'll add one right there. And we will also add one right here. Okay. Let's try to make this one because it's fairly close. We'll make it a little bit on the warmer side because they can go up all the way to 16. So I think a good 12 is perfect for them. And then this one, maybe we could add, maybe we could add a little bit of snow. So let's keep it at zero. And we'll keep that one at zero as well. So we'll go back to terrain and we'll get a little bit of some snow. There we go. Just a, not a whole lot. I don't want it to be overpowering like with the polar bears. But I think just the snow covered rocks, I think that does look pretty nice to me. Okay, looks good. And now we just need some enrichment. And it's good that they're fairly similar to the pronghorns, that they will have similar enrichment items. So we can add that right there. I think that looks good. And we also have a grazing ball. And now with our toys, we can add a rubbing pillar. We'll put that right here. We can add a herb enriched scent marker. And maybe we can add a gravel. Just right there is fine. And I completely forgot that this part of the walkway is not elevated. So we just have to make sure that we can put in some glass for people to see when they're walking by. Okay, they don't really like trees and we do have our tree area here to help with the negative impact of the transformer. So I think that this looks like a pretty good habitat for them. Let's try to incorporate some short grass though. Because as you viewers know, I I like the long grass, but I find it difficult to see the animals with the long grass. So it's fine, but it's not my favorite terrain tool to use. So we'll keep it short, but also have a little bit of long. And I think that looks really nice. Now we just need to add some education. So we can put one right here, and not our polar bears, but our doll sheep. And I put that the wrong way. Smart. There we go. That's better. And we'll just keep adding a few of those. We have a trash can that seems to be... Am I able to replace it? Okay. Why are there rude people that come to Planet Zoo? I guess there's rude people everywhere in this world. We'll keep adding our info. Gotta make sure that everybody's educated here. Because education helps with our donations. Does that rhyme? Education, donation? Maybe, but not really. Tried to be clever, but didn't work, folks. Didn't work. I should leave the, the rhymes and the jokes and just stick to 
<laughs> Just stick to Planet Zoo. Well, just keep going. Make sure that every area people will be able to read about the doll sheet, get informed, learn all about them. I don't know, I may miss it, but I would like to see what listening device or viewing device gives off the most education because I'm and I might be wrong I that it might already be a, a setting in Planet Zoo but I don't think I've ever seen like what type of device allows for the most education like is it do people get more educated by reading the boards or is it by the listening devices and I think that would really help because then if you know that the listening devices are are better then maybe we would put more listening and less boards but if it's the boards then I would definitely put way more boards than the speakers so I think it's, it's definitely it would be interesting to know and maybe it, it already is a function on this game and I just have no idea about it. So if you have any, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> then please let me know so that I can maybe look into it. Because I, I would really like to be able to know what device is helping. Okay, that one's a, a tiny one, but it'll do. Just add a couple more. We'll make this one definitely bigger. Maybe we can move it just slightly here. There we go. Duplicate that one. Right there. And we'll add another one. Doll sheep. Perfect. And just one more. We'll have to make that one a little, little smaller in range. Ten, nine. Okay. We have all of our education. Now I think we can press play and see where people are gathering. We have another a new challenge, so that's just more the Timberwolves and the exhibit species. Oh my goodness, our poor, our poor pronghorns. Everny, no. Okay, call the vet in a bar. Call the vet. Wait, not call the vet. Okay, the vet's coming, but you know what? I think we need another vet because this is just getting too much, I think. And I do believe that a reason why we're having a lot of our diseased animals is because we're kind of lacking on our vet research because we only have the one, so we're not having enough time to, to research all of our animals. Because see, we're, she's still, or Dante, my apologies, is still on the other disease and I don't know, I don't think it should take that long. So let's get our new vet on the new active disease and hopefully that helps. Now we'll just head back and let's see where, where people are gathering so we can maybe add our donation boxes. It looks like people are coming over here so we'll add one there. We have our benches there, so mm, I'll leave that. Let's keep looking. Where are people gathering? Nobody's coming on this side yet, but that's all right. They will. We'll just put one here. And we'll put one here. 
and then perhaps on this side. I think it's fine. Okay, we have our doll sheep habitat. Zoo is time out to litter, but that'll be fine. We have one more person. Hello to you. Oh, we've reached our max. Okay, folks, I think that about does it. We have finally completed all of the animals of the True North Trail. We have our doll sheep, our polar bears, the grizzly bears, the pronghorn antelope, the timber wolves, the reindeer, the American bison, the arctic wolves. Uh, I think that's it. Many guessing. Oh, with the under. I thought I saw that tickets were underpriced. Either way, let's uh, let's take one last look at our sign for the True North Trail. If I can. All right. We are officially finished with the True North Trail, folks. We will come back. We may do a few more additions, but I think next episode we are going to be looking forward to expanding the zoo. Hopefully we'll get the Australia animals coming in and start a new trail. So that is where I'm going to leave it for today, folks. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. If you have a different idea of what you want to see for the next expansion of our zoo, if you would like me to maybe do Africa or Asia, please let me know because I really like to hear what, what you all want to hear, what you all want to see. And the only way that I know is if you let me know. All right, folks, I will see you all in this next episode which I am going to be so excited for. The Dakota Zoo is expanding. We're going to bring in more people and more animals. All right, everybody. I will see you all soon. Keep smiling.